All right, so Newsbeat is the heart of the news at Radio 1, targeting 16 to 25s across the UK with news we feel is relevant to them. With Newsbeat Explains, the aim of the game was to think about giving people information about big topics in little chunks where it wasn't, there was no big barrier to entry that you could kind of snack on which bits you wanted when and start the story kind of two steps in or at the top rather than the more traditional media where you've kind of got the beginning, middle, end, maybe a picture, maybe a video. The younger adult audience is used to consuming information in small bites and little moments, so videos, GIFs, imagery, funny things online, just one sentence or one tweet, you know, kind of. So giving them this way to understand a bigger topic through small elements, again, it kind of means that the bar to entry is fairly low, but once they get in and you've got their attention, you can obviously share lots of interesting content with them. If you can break the key uh, aspects of the story into smaller chunks and those chunks are self-contained pieces of information, then you can really enable new experiences. It's part of a, a broader research that we're doing on, on atomized news, and, which is part of the object-based uh, media, uh, bigger R&D strand. What we're trying to do is like breaking the content to smaller blocks, where depending on how you arrange those blocks, then you have different experiences, different things happening, very non-linear, stepping away from linear content. The audience found it refreshing. Um, actually, less was more, so the fewer words and the more, more images, etc., the better. Um, and actually, they, they liked the ones that were simple and not too complex. So I think it did give people a refreshing approach to a news story. It's very, it's very specific, it's very personal the way people are consuming content. We want to find a way where we can break this content at source when we produce it, create some powerful and, and, and richer metadata, and then allowing during the process in which it gets to, to the user, create a more personalised experience. We do need to think about changing audiences and habits, where people are, what they want, and, and try and work around um, you know, being a bit more playful. A corporation like the BBC has to have a kind of uh, a beating heart of innovation, and once we've found something that works or we think has potential, spread the word and get others on board.